So how are we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die alpha 19.2 and we're on day number 34 so thank you very much for joining me today and liking and subscribing and all those wonderful things you guys keep on doing and supporting the channel thank you very much we have horde night tomorrow night and yesterday obviously we went through graces and we did the tier 4 quest as well we got a ridiculous amount of cement so how much have we actually got here one two three four nearly four and a half thousand cement we got plenty well, we haven't got loads of stone but we have no sand we're going to need to be able to get some sand today but we do have a lot of cement so i've already got a couple of thousand here already made up today we're going to go and have a look we've got a quest to hand in but they're not going to be open till six so i started a bit earlier i've literally just got back and put everything away i want to go down and check out this outpost down here and have a quick look at that we don't actually have a quest there and then we're going to come back probably hand that in and then we're going to head over to the horde base we're going to have to spend all night on the horde base because i need to get the left hand side looking like the right hand side so let's get cracking there we go that was efficient i thought i could hear somebody up here making a bit of a ruckus right let's quickly harvest you up i can take you straight down before we get off to this outpost right here we go the u.s fire post 69 now i don't believe i've ever seen this poi which is why we marked it on the map right we can't go in there we get into this little building unlocked so i didn't want to go too far away and do a big quest today because the only thing we've got a good map we've got lots of good stuff on our map but it's getting very very spread out and the travel time is starting to become a bit of an issue now i assume that this is a dungeon style poi and there'll be which means there'll be a way in and out and well this looks like the way in bit of an army truck here okay okay oh there we go the schematic for the workbench there we go now there used to be a 25 percent chance of getting the schematic in one of the workstations i think that's been vastly reduced because it doesn't seem like that anymore right let's make our way into this i've got no idea how big this place is going to be no we've got a load of corpses there with the bones and potassium nitrate right there's a dog over there dog house dog kennel even though it's got a double, few double dead zombies here. Yeah, there we go. Right, pick one, kill him, then kill the other. Jesus. What are you playing that Kraken? I'd even just pre-warn myself that this could be something that was about to happen. We've got some more concrete here. I don't usually go for all the concrete unless there's a silly amount of it. So in somewhere like races yesterday, there was so much of it. A couple of thousand, it's not worth not picking it up. She might be a feral. Of course she might be. Back you come. Lance and blow. Thank you, I'll take my arrow back. Somebody behind the desk. Uh, Nigel, what are you doing? Oh, you're running as well. Cool. Come on. Beautiful. Any super water for me? No, what have we got in the desk? Why well, seems to be closed in the desk? Didn't really know that was a thing. Oh, army guy. Wish you were in a feral. Come on. 
<laughs> up with your head. Right. We'll just have a general scout around here, see what's going on. I want to go up that tower in a minute. Backpack. Nitrate powder. Are we in the toilet? Or oh, medicine cabinet. Really what we were looking for. I've got a harvest to do as well back at home. Is that a double dead zombie in the background? Oh, could that be some hidden loot up there? Have a little look, shall we? I'm checking out these new POIs. Uh, I think it just might be the rafters. Okay. Worth having a check. Right. No, that's a Nigel. And then we got a Jarvis over there as well. Oh, and we got a mechanic. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get round to... Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Two out, of, two out of three ain't bad, according to Meatloaf. Come on, Jarvis. There we go. Oh, so we do go up here anyway. Is that something in there? No. Any reason for letting us up here, or...? This is how maybe we get onto here. Some honey. Chances are there's going to be a load of bloody flapping turkeys up here that want to get me infected. Try and keep an eye out for them. Get a good view from up here. Right, well that ain't going to fly, is it? Come on. A few of these across. So it's house over there as well. Right, up to the top. Can't go that way. They've put a barrier there for us. I like leaving their doors open around here. There's some loot over there. I doubt that's the final loot. No, it probably is. Where did you come from? You come from the roof? Oh. Scared the living life out of me. Well, at least you landed on the um, spikes. I'm rolling over them as well. Yeah, so that's where they all came in. Okay, well, we've got a bit of loot up here. We've still got another building, an outpost building, over there to check out as well. But let's see what we've got here. But I lucky loot of goggles on. I would have taken some eye candy, but I didn't bring any with me. Our new level 6 battle axe. The sham. Okay. Ammo pile. A nine mil. Okay, some eggs. What have we got here then? Nothing much. Nothing much at all. Right, okay, let's put our XP goggles back on. Scrap that. In fact, we'll sell. We'll just sell that. Throw that out and throw that out. Right, let's keep on keeping on. So, yeah, we haven't been into that building. We did this one down here. We didn't go into that building there. So let's quickly go and check that out. Right, so this looks like the garage in here. 
We've got a ladder going upstairs. Got a few zombies on their way out to us. We've got a well down there as well. Well, well. Is that going to be to like a bunker like ours? I refuse to believe that this place is that small. Right, let's go up here. Locked door, okay. So this is the tower at the top. I don't like there's much going on here, apart from the dodgy ladder. That goes out to an outside bit there. Okay, that's just locked and is not very deep, but we'll get to the chemistry station anyway. Oh, well, lucky looter. Find more brass in loot. Perfect. We'll never say no to that. We've got this building here. Anyone else in here? No. Chrysanthemums. First aid bandage. Never say no to that. Steroid. Not really much use to us. Bookcase. Oh, shame. Batter up. We've already read it. Right. So that leaves us with this one building down here, which does have a light on it. No, this is where we came in. Well, I was expecting there to be a lot more to that POI than that. We've got an airdrop over here. So we're going to quickly grab that. We may as well just go straight to the hall base. Um, I know we need to get more sand and stone for making that concrete, but we've got a lot of concrete and our hall base is quite compact. It's um, not too big and out of the way. It's something quite easily we can keep working on and expanding on. So the great thing is, if it gets... It won't get totally destroyed, but if it gets, you know, a bit damaged, it's not going to be too expensive to fix him up right. Where's this airdrop? Oh, there it is, behind the tree. Right, let's quickly lob our stuff into here. No, get off it. There we go, lob you into there. And what have we got here? Okay. Loads of basic things. Right, let's get to the hall base. Right, here we go. Back at the hall base. Let's get our inventory sorted out a little bit. Let's get you up there. And we're going to need to get our nail gun. And we'll grab... No, not the hammer, the wire tool. So we bought these trip wires the other day. So we're going to set those up to get those in place. Look, we've actually got nearly 4,000 concrete over here. So we'll grab some concrete, grab some cobblestone, and we've got two dart traps as well. We've got 13 grenades. We only used seven last time, so that should be enough. Now, here's our inside bit, which is all lovely jubbly. Right, let's get you upgraded. we got some friends here already. Come on. There we go. Right, so we've got you upgraded a little bit. And get you done all the way around. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Right. So we want to do the same over here, but we also want to put the tripwire in front. Now, the tripwire is done slightly differently because that, as you can see, is lower down. So that needs to be on this height. So we do actually need to put a block in there. So we need to put place a block in like that. And get that upgraded. And then we need to do the same on this side over here so in that area there there's going to be a block as well for the tripwire now the tripwire we're not going to be using straight away the tripwire i'm going to use for the dart trap because i don't want the dart trap 
to be shooting darts continuously. I want the dart trap, which is going to be above their heads here. So when you've got this one here, you get electrocuted by there, and this plate will take out and will place a dart trap shooting straight down. And that's going to work really well, but I only want it to be shooting when the zombies actually get to here and set the trip wire off. If it's shooting continuously from here, we'll just run out of darts far, far too quickly. So I'm going to start digging out a bit of this that we need to do to get this all set up lovely jubbly. Ah, there we go, so we've actually got an airdrop now, and for once we've actually seen it. But that's not going to be too far away, just the other side of town. Right, I'm just double checking what I've done over this side. There we go, so the triangle blocks go to there. What the hell have we got going on over here? Well, that was some free XP for us. Right. Now, I need to upgrade this bit over here before we end up blocking it in, and we need to increase that bit down there. Right, we'll do that in just a second. Let's get these angle blocks in first, because we're going to go from the angle blocks here to squared. So let's get those ones in. Go advanced rotation. There we go. So that will allow us then to be able to actually see into the area we need to see into. And then from that part down, we'll do square blocks down to the ground. There we go. So we'll do that. And now we need to put the plates around all of this. First of all, let's just put our trip wires in. So we got one going on. Yep, yeah, one going there, and one going there. And we can now upgrade that to reinforce concrete, and we'll do the same to that one when that dries. So from there, we can hook up a wire from here to here. But at the moment, that's not going to be doing anything because you need to wire the power source to the trip wire, and then the trip wire to the dart trap so only when the trip wire gets triggered will the dart trap work but we're not going to put the dart trap in for this horde night we don't need to do that we're we're gonna I, sh I think we should be fine the one thing i really do want to need is that crucible i'm getting a little bit worried about that because i can't upgrade these to steel until we can actually make steel so that's getting a little bit worrying right let me put these plates on here Right, there we go. Nice and simple. So we've got a bit more work to do in here. We've got a half block to put in there and a half block to put in there. And we've got to take that down to the ground. But that's going to sort out our electrical traps, which will be very nice. And we've got our trip wires in there as well. Has everything in here dried up nicely? It's getting there. And we'll do all of that. So that should be sort of stage one. Well, stage one was the original. This is sort of stage two, when we know things are getting a little bit tougher, that we should be all right. And you saw how well those electrical traps worked. Now, what I'm going to be doing off camera and spending virtually all night doing, another reason why I didn't want to go too far, was doing this outside part here. OK, 
because this is going to take a long time to do. So we're going to take this up to three high, okay, all the way around. I might do half blocks because this is a bit bulky, but we need to knock out each one of these. And that is going to take an absolute age. What are these, 1,200? No, two and a half thousand hit points. That's going to take some time. And then we're going to build a little room at the back to have our storage boxes in and our generator and all of that great stuff. Right, let's go over to the... Let's go over to the trader and see what reward we can get from yesterday's tier four quest. So here we go then, trader gens. What is she going to reward us with? You again. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Well, hopefully you've now got something you some in store. Spend, we're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. A level 6 robotic turret. Now, Green T, because we dyed him green and we called him Mr. T, was really good to us in the last alpha. I haven't really been using it that much in Alpha 19, but as it's a tier six, I think we should we should potentially give you a go. So we're gonna take that. Do you have any jobs? Do you have anything close? You have a tier two, 185 me? meters away. I, I right, good that gives you. us something perfect good to luck. do for tomorrow, as it is gonna be Horror Night. Something nice and small. We're gonna sell you just a couple of these things just to get them out of my inventory. Uh, we'll keep the robotic. Yeah, we'll just take a few of those. When do you restock? Day 37. So that means you actually restock today. I didn't know it was a trade of restock day. So let's just have a little look and see if you've got what I need. Some cobblestone. We'll take that. We always need cobblestone. Animal fat. It's very expensive for 39 animal fat. I don't really want to buy that. Well, that's a little bit of a shame. Still, no crucible. Now that right. was a good deal. Let's right. get back to the base because I want to actually look at building an SMG turret because we got the schematic for that in the last episode, and we could do that to sort out these flapping turkeys. Right, there we go. So we've just done another harvest, so we're looking very good for our food in here. Look how much sham we've got. Ridiculous. But we do have some more pasta and some more beef rations, which means that we can make our spaghetti. Now, what else did we need to put in there for the spaghetti? Let's put a few in there. We needed mushrooms, animal fat, and water. Well, we can definitely do that. Mushrooms... Water and our animal fat, our precious animal fat, which is worth far too much. There we go. Right, let's get one of those so we're going to have a nice, decent meal tomorrow. Ready for our whore night. Right, put these ones back. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so we've got a few things to quickly do here before I end today's video. We have three skill points. Now, we need to decide which direction we're going in. Now, I do want to get to this here because we need to find this crucible. We don't find this crucible. What is our game stage currently sat at? 92. So we need to get this crucible. Now, I know it's not meant to come into 105, but I think the lucky looter would really help us because this gives us a bigger... What does it give it? Specialising as 15% to loot bonus. Looting is 40% faster. Now I thought the third one definitely gave us the trader gets a bigger stash, but it doesn't actually mention that here. As 10% to loot bonus. As 15% to loot bonus. Now has that changed? Guys, put let me know down in the comments. I thought that that made the secret stash bigger from number three. So... I could be wrong on that. That I swear that used to be in there. Let's have a little look at here. We've got Pummel Pete, good. 
Minus 69er is good. We've got one into heavy armor. I haven't got any points into pain tolerance, which is probably a big mistake on my part. The amount I get hit. Right. Now, we want to look at turrets. Now, we can't make the shotgun turret, unfortunately. But we can make the SMG turret. So what do we need for that? Motion set 45 steel. Okay, maybe we can't make this. 37 steel. Okay, right. Let's put all two, the other bits together that we do need for it. So I know I've got a motion sensor in here. What else did you need? Handgun parts. We've got plenty of handgun parts. Not in that one, in this one. Where's all my parts gone? Oh, you are in here. Is that 10 or is that 5? No, it was 4. <laughs> totally wrong. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, what else was it? Oil and scrap polymers. Will both be in here. How much oil was it? 15 oil, 7 scrap polymers. My oil. And lucky number 7. Beautiful. Right, okay, so we've got everything apart from the steel, so I'm going to just put you... Oh yeah, 762, we've got plenty and plenty of that. I'm going to just put you into the output over here. For now, and then we need to get some more steel. So you see it's starting to cause a real, real issue. We've got 37 steel. Now, I don't think she had any steel for sale. I didn't see any anyway. So... Put the steel into there. So we need to get eight more bits of steel to make this turret. And if we put this turret, we can sit this on top of our base and things will all be hunky-dory. Right, well, I was going to finish the video by actually making one of those turrets and taking it back over to the whore base, but we can't do that. But that is where I'm going to head next, is over to that whore base. There's where the airdrop was. So we can do this tier two over here tomorrow grab the airdrop and maybe get these two maybe this one started as well quickly get them we know we're going to have a wandering horde at some point tomorrow and then we'll be doing the horde so thank you very much for joining me today a bit more of a building episode but we need to get things done if we want to survive tomorrow night's horde day 35 things are definitely getting up there and we will increase the difficulty once again if we survive the horde which will hopefully put our game stage up over 100 and we'll start finding that next tier of loot guys i will catch you in the next episode as always a big thumbs up on the video any comments down below and we'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy